The laws of London state I've done nothing wrong. Correct. She was truly ridiculous. Constantly. Constantly. She did not care for the needs or the wants of others. And why Kaderin and Faldo? Similar reasons. Yeah. Okay. What do you think they well, seem to accept their fate as though it was needful? Yeah, they knew. And, yeah, they knew. So they, knew. And, uh, they are smart individuals. Uh, a couple of thoughts from, from my perspective is they actually knew what my coins were all about before I even really began to play with them. Oh, they did? They did. They knew they were the coins of the fairy. <laughs> so they understood that uh, they need to be powered in one way or another, refreshed, if you will. So I imagine they gave their lies so that no one else would have to. So that is my first thought. saving others. It wasn't that it was needed in some way to offset your power. Indeed, it, it could be. They, they could understand something that I don't understand. I don't know how they... You feel like you're ahead, steps ahead of them, though. Uh, I, you, right? I do. Uh, steps ahead would be wrong. It, it's always incorrect to underestimate your opponent. I think that they very well know things that I don't know, just as I know things they do. It just matters how our knowledge will stack up against each other when the uh, time that does come. I asked them to name one person, one Evermorean proper in town, one person that lives and has been grown up in this realm, and I will ensure their protection. Oh, and that was when Ozzy was... Flynn. Then why? Yeah. He's the only real semblance of law in the town, yes? Yeah. Which would mean that he probably could arrest me, right? However, <laughs> the laws of London... Uh, what right. good would it do? But let's even talk further than that. The laws of London state, I've done nothing wrong. Correct. Those people died of natural causes or something the other like. Right? And there is no one to blame for it. That is what the law states. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Dunhill. Well, that's just not nice, man. <laughs> What's his name, Dunhill? Durville Dunhill. Yes, I know, but calling after Durville. Uh, uh, communication did no, kill his no, sister. Uh, I was influencing her a bit. Uh, there's a connection, in, indeed. She wouldn't have known it was you, but, but she, she could have guessed. A lot of dreams. You're a few simple all these dreams. Right? Indeed, indeed. It was really the only thing I could influence. Uh, yes. That and the trophy that I was bound to, which is why I was able to move them throughout. So what makes you think you become a man? Like, how do you... They have a choice? Not really. I mean, <laughs> there's no need to convince anybody. The choices have been made. Indeed, there's no, no need for harm, there's no need for uh, discussion. Okay. I'm the mayor. And what are your plans now as mayor? Uh, you remember speaking to me when I was still mayor or candidate, yes? Yes. yes. Very similar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And now that Sud is gone, yeah. I feel that I can really move him to uh, tax these larger businesses as he was one of the large proponents mm -hmm. fighting against the tax policy here, right? Mm -hmm. To uh, sort of grow the town further, as well as to allow the taxes to uh, assist the homeless here and evermore mm -hmm. to retrieve their homes once again. Do you feel like they, 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 with there not being a huge surplus, I mean, for a while there was a lot of challenges with uh, people having any kind of wealth or anything to tax. Mm -hmm. Do you still feel that's an issue? I mean, how do you tax? Of course. Is, is, is it fragile, the economy here is still a little fragile? It's very fragile. Yeah. Very, very fragile. And it's going to be a delicate balance, and honestly, I haven't been able to study it enough. I know that there are homeless people, I don't know if such is gone. I don't know the numbers at all. <laughs> So I'm afraid that maybe this tactical policy that I used to want to enact might be entirely different. So I'm what going would to you do? What would you do with the taxes? You, you'd use them to build the town. Indeed, continue. indeed. Okay. Everything in the end goes back to the town. Everything that I do, every move that I make, it is for the town. Again, my slogan when I originally was running was for the people of Evermore. Yeah. We we'll do what I do for the people of Evermore. It has always been that. I believe that I have blazed a trail of good deeds in this world. I have assisted this world to get rid of those that seek to oppress it, that seek to harm us, like Judge Atkinson. Now, while I didn't actually kill Judge Atkinson, it was a lie, I'm glad he's out of the picture. Yeah. So your, 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 your philosophy is about balance and that kind of thing. How does that prevent you from not just lashing out in town and feeling like someone's worthy of death just because you feel there's some sort of a are you going to be making that call yourself, or do you feel that you can... Yes, well, unfortunately, I, I'm not a perfect person, and people may... So you're not opposed to that kind of justice in town, that kind of law, where you 
our judge, jury, and executioner for people here? I don't think that it is most wise, but I feel it might be something everyone needs right now. And as far as um, you were communicating through dreams, was there anybody else here in town that um, was helping assist with bringing you back or communicating with you? Uh, there was five total that were consciously assisting. That well, not consciously, the suppose, but through the dreams, yes. Okay. There, there, I was using them as a, as a vessel. Uh, my lovely Cecily, of course. Uh, May of I have I yeah. hope her stint is going well. Uh, Vayala, of course. The people that I have the most connection to. Devil and then Piper as well. So the ones that are easiest for me to uh, reach out to, but still have a part of them holding on to my memory. Yeah. And they were, were you able to gain information from them through the dreams? Not really, no. Okay. No, it, it was quite one way. It was influence a bit of what they were dreaming about. Yep. A sense of peace, followed by chaos, followed by a sense of peace again. Uh, and that second sense of peace was ushered in by either my words or my melody. Yeah. Correct. And the new lines, the new words. The new words, yeah. yes, yes. I was able to write after death, which was uh, doubled as a riddle. Uh, it yeah. is very difficult to uh, impose these thoughts on someone, so it was important that it served two purposes. Yeah. Do you have the trophies around town again? I heard someone mention that they're hidden again. The trophies hmm. that you have. Ah, uh, I have no idea to <laughs> Yes, there are big things at play here. Big plans for Evermore. Big plans for everyone. And I think that uh, we can really bring Evermore back to an age of prosperity. An age where everything feels at peace once again. Something we haven't felt in a long time. Something that I, while being here, have never felt. Yeah. It's always been something. <laughs> mythos, perhaps, when the Mythos portal was open, was perhaps the most peaceful time we felt. And even still, there was fighting between the citizens. The when the punishment for fighting can be anything, it can be easier to guard. You'll lay all this out at 9 30 or your plan? Okay. Indeed. Okay. Indeed. Which I look forward to addressing everyone. Of nice course. to see you again. Nice to see you all again. Yes, anything I can do for the rest of you, though? I was just wondering, I came in about halfway when you were explaining why Wen had to die. Yes, yes, uh, the abuse of power. She was uh, originally on the, the list, if you will. She was uh, one of my considerations that needed to be eradicated. Or she too often would abuse her power and allow her emotions to drive her. She was a time bomb that eventually would most likely be Evermore's downfall. Retribution be upon you, servant of Satan. <laughs> sure. We'll see about that. Yes? Perhaps, uh, well, St. Michael is waiting around to cleanse Evermore myself. You can't use fire. Oh, can't I? Sin does not cleanse sin. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Although... Sometimes, if St. Michael allows it, such terrible things can happen by those who rot sin. Yes. As you've done so this evening. St. Michael is the expert on sin, yes? No, he's the expert on burning it. Ah, very good. So then, who is to say I've sinned at all? If he's not the expert on sin, on burning, why am I any less than St. Michael, in my opinion? When Weaver was a sinner, and in your opinion, I believe, when Weaver was a sinner. So why am I any different than St. Michael? Because you aren't St. Michael. How do you know? But by definition, you would not be. Yes. Maybe not by name am I not St. Michael. By deed. I have business to attend to. It's a very I different love. story. Hello. Let's go, yes? Yes. His consequences will catch up with him eventually.